The story of Walt Whitman and Mother Whitman, a dying love. Throughout his childhood and early adult years, Whitman saw his mother as one of his most beloved confidants. The second of her nine children, Louisa Van Velser Whitman, came to rely on Walt more than any of her children for purposes such as rent, emotional support, and friendship towards the later years of her life. Walt cherished his mother willingly due to the immense amount of gratitude and debt he felt he owed to her. She played an important role in his viewpoint of woman in the earlier editions of Leaves of Grass, in which he takes a more egalitarian approach and equates the role of a female to that of a male. In the deathbed edition of Leaves of Grass in the poem Song for Occupations, Whitman quotes, The wife, and she is not one jot less than the husband. The daughter, and she is just as good as the son. The mother, and she is every bit as much as the father. Close throughout the entirety of his life, Walt and his mother wrote letters to one another frequently, expressing their deep affection and desire to reunite once again. It is said that the beginning of Whitman's darkest times followed his mother's death in May of 1873. In following are some of Walt's last letters with his mother, dating as close to her death as May 14, 1873, just nine days before her passing. Whitman to his mother, May 7, 1873. Dearest Mother, I have received your short letter of yesterday. Mother, I feel so bad. You are not well. I do not know what to do. Will not rest, and some food that suits be good remedies? An old person wants the most favorable conditions to get anything. Mother, I will come on the first of next month. I'm getting along favorably, they all say, but have frequent distress in my head, and my leg is clumsy as ever. I am writing this in the office at my desk. I send some papers today, nothing in particular about them, but I think the English paper, the Sunderland Times, good reading. Mother, write, if perfectly convenient, either Friday or Saturday, as I am anxious about you. Goodbye, dearest mother, and keep up a good heart. Walt. Mother Whitman's Reply, May 13th or 14th, 1873. My dearly beloved Walter, Thank God, I feel better this morning. I hope I shall be better now, now that my rheumatism is better in my limbs. Whether it's that, or what has affected my head, I cannot tell. But my head and my very brain has seemed to be affected. But I feel better this morning, and hope I shall be better still. When I feel so bad, I want so much to be with you, Walter. Dear George and Lou has been so kind to me. Goodbye. I think we would be happier if we was together. Walter, dear, we will live saving, and I hope I shall be well enough to see things. Eddie is very good boy. Lately, he says he hopes I won't die. Goodbye, my dear Walt. I have got your good letter, dear Walt. Whitman's final letter to his mother, Tuesday afternoon, May 13th, 1873. Dearest mother, I suppose you got my letter Monday the 12th, written Sunday. I am still improving. I don't feel quite as well today as for some days past. But it's a great advance on what I have been, and I am in good spirits. Dear Mother, I feel very anxious about you. It is very distressing to have the nervous system affected. It always makes one feel so discouraged. That is the worst of it. Mother, I am afraid you are more unwell than you say. I think about it night and day. The enclosed letter came to me yesterday. Jeff sent it to me, by mistake. Maybe one for me has gone to you. I got another letter from Jeff today. All are well. Jeff is too anxious about you. Mother, try to write a line soon after you get this. I am writing this in the office. Mother, I shall come on. Walt.